Hey guys, I'm back. Talk to you about some stuff I found pretty funny this week. It's my backyard. Looks my my dog. She's peeing. Look at her pee. Just a little poop. Just a little baby right here. No, oh, look what they do to my backyard. That's what they do to it. They make giant, huge holes everywhere. It's another hole like over here, and a huge one over there by the entrance and stuff. And those holes are huge. Okay. Back to the real topic. Uh, what was I gonna talk about? Oh yeah. So Peta apparently is like upset at Mario for like the Tanuki outfit he uses, which would make sense if like Mario actually skinned a Tanuki to like get his like skin so he could like you know get the special ability. But that doesn't happen. Like. He eats a super leaf and then he turns into like the Tanuki Mario and starts flying around and stuff. So I I don't know. Peter should really check what they're trying. I I thought that was kind of absurd. Like don't they have better things to do than make fun of like virtual animal cruelty? Like who cares that that they die in a virtual game? It's just, it's not real. You know what I mean? I should. I don't know. Also, like I like Machinima. But their latest review of Assassin's Creed, I find that kind of biased. Like, I mean, I, pl I had the game, I played it completely. I liked the story, it was good. Uh, I'm not, like, the mechanics of the game are still the same. You get a, a couple of changes here and there. But, like, the, the guy reviewing it, he basically gave it a 7 because he was confused by the storyline. To me, it just feels like he didn't play the game in like in depth enough to understand the storyline. I don't know. I mean, I understood it. I wasn't confused at all. Like, I'm not saying like uh, he. I'm not saying he was a bad review. It was. It was. It wasn't bad. I'm just saying he could have done better. Yeah, look at my dogs. I don't know what they're doing. Let's go check it out. By the way, my son is. We just built him a bouncer. That thing took forever. Like, it's, I don't know. It was made in China, so you know, all the, the instructions are stupid as hell. Like, they were really, like, dumb. The instructions, they didn't make sense to me. I, I, I don't know. I ended up building it completely, and, like, there was, like, like three bolts that were still, like, there. And three screws that were still there. And I'm like, where I, I don't know where these go, but it seems to be holding fine. So I put them in there to test it out, and it worked perfectly. I don't know where those things go but it must not be important right so this is my backyard by the way it's pretty big spacious backyard and for a lot of you if you guys are in Florida you guys are gonna find this really weird I have a basement it's right down there like this is my, my room right there but yeah I have a basement so Maybe next time I'll go in there and see it. It's really strange. But it's, it's not really a basement, because if you look at my house, like where my room is, it's higher. So they kind of like made, made like the master bedroom like higher so they could like have a bigger roof or ceiling, I guess, for the basement. So uh, actually, yeah, we'll go inside if you want to check it out. In the next video, because you just have to have something to look forward to in the next video. Oh, and this is a song by Rihanna that I found pretty strange too. Uh, love in a, she found love in a hopeless place. Okay, big whoop. This this is hopeless place. It's not it's not a loveless place. If I find hope in a hopeless place, then I'll be impressed. It's, it's not a, it's not an impressive song. It's impressive. That's what it, it's impressive. It's, it's opposite of impressive. Impressive. That's a real word. It's fun fiction right there for you guys. Okay, this is it. So I'm gonna leave you with the picture of my dog sniffing something. Melee, side to the camera, matey.